als de Bruce hem deed, stoor ik wel een bang out tweet uh, duo review voor you guys. Uh, said I was gonna do it. Just haven't had time again live and everything else. But uh, let me think. I thought let me quickly bang it out. And what are you doing? How's how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing fine on this fine Saturday morning. Go, go Lions! Yalla Eisterkies! Don't have a lot of hope, but the hope is there. We're gonna give the third times a charm. So let's see. Let's let's go it, boykies. Okay, so what I've got for you today is the. Okay, you'll see it's uh, it's a bit open at the moment because I haven't got batteries in. It's the legend uh, with the Zeus deal on top. Um, that's my build. Don't know if you can see it. Um, it's a dual coil. Um, what do they call it? Amplified aliens uh, from shit. I can't remember who. Anyway, the reason the battery doors open is um, I want to obviously go through all the pros and the cons of the device itself. I've been using the device quite some time now, and uh, I mean from a Aesthetics point of view, it's not it's not a bad looking device. It's not a great looking device. I mean, uh, I think you have to you have to take an account to to make something look rugged. Um, it's not necessarily going to look pretty. Um, I mean, I like the I like the rubber and the and the all those things and and whoop, hey, hey, almost did a drop test there. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think these plates, yeah, there's, you'll see there's little, um, uh, there's little screws there. So I presume these plates are interchangeable. I don't know. A nice leather. It's got a nice feel to it. It's nice and solid. You can either do it this way around with trigger finger and also the button. The button is nice and clicky. So it's perfect for me. I, I actually quite like it. You can do it the other way around as well if you want to kind of... You know, just squeeze it with squeeze it with your hand like that. So you can do both ways around. Um, buttons up and down is also nice and clicky. Um, I would say that's that's probably a con. Ah, a con, a pro. So this this battery latch um, is fairly solid. There's no there's no it's a little bit of wiggle, but nothing much. I can see that. That it's a fairly solid solid construction the only issue i've got with this and i like the fact that when you open it that boop you know it's like what pops open um only issue i've got is on the inside of this 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 little battery latch there don't know if you can see it that little latch there that i'm that's very flimsy i i, I cannot see that this is gonna and to get it in is a when there's no battery, check, even when there's no batteries in, you gotta, yeah, you gotta really force it in. Now I'm gonna put batteries in, and that's even more of a mission. Um, the plus and minus is not majorly prominent. It's on the on the actual contact plate. I don't know if you can see, there's the, the plus and the minus. I don't know if it's zooming in or out or whatever. So it's it's fairly, you know, if you're not gonna look for it, you're not gonna see it, basically. So, um, you've got plus up and minus on the other side. As always, battery safety. Make sure, check your batteries. Make sure there's no tears or, or anything like that. And, alright. So, now, you got to, you got to basically, and hopefully I can do this like this on camera. you got to press down and then in. You see there. Okay, that's it. So, first time around on camera. Okay, so, uh, let's quickly go through the pros and cons on this, on this bad boy. One, two, three, four, five to start it up. Okay. Um, very basics. Uh, one, two, three. Um, there you can go change your power. Uh, if you go down, you can change to tie, whatever. You go down, you change to your different stainless steels. I'm not going to go into that. If you click it again, you can, you can um, I presume, lock your coil. You change it again, okay, and it's got a timeout of about five seconds. So one, two, three, into the menu, and you press the fire button to go through your various. You can reset your your puff counter, um, and there we go. And I see now with the puff counter, it seems you lose your puffs when the batteries are out for too long. Now I've um, 
I've, uh, like I said, I've been using this extensively, uh, specifically in dual coil, to see the battery life. With the initial firmware update, uh, uh, sorry, with the initial firmware that it came out, the battery life was absolutely cuck. It was like, it wouldn't even last me an hour and the battery would be dead. We're looking at about 260, 270 puffs um, on one cycle. Then it's, and normally I run my batteries down to about 30%. And normally I don't want to do it more than that. 3.7 volts. Then it's already actually pop. Anyway, so um, did the firmware upgrade. I'll put a link down below. Did the first firmware upgrade. Yeah, it didn't make much of a difference. I went up to 200 and 290 puffs. So they said, ooh, greatly improved. No, not greatly improved. Cuck story. Um, then with the last update, it seems things are, are has drastically improved, like they said. Uh, that's the 17 July update. So um, for the guys of you that are struggling with battery life, obviously it's got to do with your build as well. I'm running a 0.3. Um, so uh, uh, obviously the lower your build, yeah, obviously, and the higher your wattage, the, the less battery life. Yeah. But I, I basically ran at about 50 watts. So right through the whole test. So I went from 290 puffs to 460 puffs. So that's quite a considerable jump battery life wise. Now I don't know what they did with the chip and the whatever. and But it seems to be working now. Um, your charge port. Well it's not really a charge port. It's more a, your for your firmware updates. It's got a little, a little rubber yeah that you that you pull out obviously that has to be there for for it to be waterproof or water resistant so there's your charging cable um, I quite like that it's still got a it's got a latch on so that because I tend to lose these things very easily so that's quite nice it seals quite nice anything else um, the battery door at the bottom is 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 good um, like I said it is it's got venting holes there um, the latch itself, like I said, the con there is definitely the latch. Uh, uh, I think I think that's probably probably the biggest con. Um, but I'm sure you should most likely they might bring out door replacement. But I can't see that on the body that that catch is gonna is gonna last. Um, so what am I using today for uh, for my juice? Is Reaper from from my boy Philly. Um, go check it out. It's 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 quite nice. Not my taste. It's like uh, what does the blurb say? Yes, I'm gonna get kind of I got my black uh, New Reaper's fresh. Oh, this is the fresh. So this is the Reaper with the ice. Uh, it's the same legendary ADV created in 2014. It's strawberry, peach, sponge, sugar. But now it has an icy cool freshness. So strawberry, peach. So it's basically like cotton candy. Now cotton candy is very difficult to do. I think uh, um, I think he's he's done a good job on it. Uh, um, like I said, not my type of vape, but um, I'll give it a bash. So uh, let's quickly. Uh, I'm probably gonna fuck it. No, so close with the bottle key. Ah, say, crack was your end. So I'll probably just speed this up. Um, maybe do a bit of maybe do a bit of B roll or whatever. Oh, there we go. We've done some B-roll. And now I'm uh, screwing on the, the base. And always, guys, when you... when you Oh, welcome back. <laughs> Trying to do some some B-rolls there. Always when you... Yeah, you see it's jumping a bit, the arms, but that's fine. <coughs> <coughs> Always check that your airflow is actually open. Like so. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. Anyway. Take care of all the rack. 
my balls went like that's my boy out it was there too anyway <clears throat> so sorry for that uh yeah i've got the bubble tank on yeah uh, it gives a bit of extra capacity i always i also see that uh if this one drops then it's definitely gonna hit the bubbles definitely oh no it's not hitting okay so that's that's another pro i mean uh because of these protruding rubbers yeah um even this this bubble gaps if you know if it tips over uh it seems it's not it's not gonna the tank's not gonna be uh, uh smashed so i'm just quickly gonna fill this bad boy up oh just on the zeus oh yeah oh we must maybe go through the zeus <laughs> Oh, I'm really winning this one. Um, the Zeus, I normally don't fill it to the top. I did now, so don't do what I do. Do what I say. Um, the um, the Zeus deal, like I said, a really nice tank. I've I had this. Uh, I have the single. Um, I didn't come right with the single, eh? And there we go. There it looks quite quite lucky with the. With the. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what am I doing? A whopping 34 point, let's do a 35.2 watts. Let's go. Airflow what? Airflow what up. But, okay, and this is obviously, this is my first toot for the day. So please mind me. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, Airflow wide open is quite, it's quite, <coughs> some residually, um, it's quite wide for me, so I close it down, I'd say about, no, nah, there's got a bit of a whistle, so just before, no, nah, it's got like a, it's got like a sweet spot, I think that's it, no, nah, that's not it, no, nah, that's not it, there we go. So yeah, the Zeus deal overall, um, quite like it. Um, I think it's a nice, a nice looking tank as well. I just <coughs> wish they <coughs> would have, excuse me, I would have positioned old Zeus, uh, you know, on the front of uh, that it's facing there. But um, ugh, I guess it's fine. I mean, aesthetically, it's a nice looking tank. I think this this combo looks looks lacquer, lacquer, my bruise. And um, what else on the Zeus? Easy, easy build deck. I mean, like you saw, it's a, it's a postless. Um, airflow is fairly, fairly smooth. Um, flavor, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's got the best flavor, but I mean, what do you expect from a top, uh, top airflow tank? Um, I think of all the top airflow tanks, this one's definitely the best. Um, yeah, they are actually so no, the OBS is better. The OBS is good, uh, it's definitely good, but I do get better flavor out of this. I did have an OBS, I sold it like an idiot quite some time ago. So I'll uh, I'll see how this bad boy goes. You guys must have a lucky weekend. Yes, I'm really not blowing any clouds yet. Um, you guys must have a lucky weekend. And uh, like I said, go Lions. Uh, I'm not a Lions supporter, but I support local. So, um, go Lions, and you guys must have a lucky weekend uh, further. And uh, Vaping Brew, out.